<gasps> hey, it's me. <gasps> it's me, Jay Evans. Yes, it is. <gasps> you know, it's me, Jay Evans. Now it's time for us to talk the talk. Let's get into this episode. All right, Apple Pies, did y'all watch this week's episode of Marrying Millions? The episode was entitled Fear and Lambos in Las Vegas. Now, I know I'm a little bit late, but you know what they say? It's better late than never, okay? I'm doing this on Sunday. The episode came on Wednesday, but we here, okay? Now, <laughs> we got to get caught up. Um, Rodney and Desert, you know, I spotlight them and just so much going on. We got to talk about Bill and Brianna. Is Brianna out for the money? Bri I don't think Bill is ever going to want to give you a baby. Rick and Erica and then um, Danny and Donovan and Katie and Kevin. Katie, somebody show Katie this video. Since I keep telling them to show you this video, I want you to run, Katie, run. He's not into you, and I'm so tired of him. Now, I told y'all to go over to the Marion Millions page on Facebook where they shade the whole cast. Nobody from the cast is safe, okay? When I say they shade this cast, they shade them. And I'm actually going to be able to show y'all now because I can roll my picture clips into my video so you know it's on. So before we get into that, let's get into a word from one of my sponsors. Um, Let's get into a word from me and then one of my sponsors. Then come back to me and we about to get into my review and recap of Fear and Lambos in Vegas. <laughs> it's a whole lot of foolishness and buffoonery, but I'm glad the show is back. And let's roll to that and come back to me, okay? <gasps> Are you not subscribed to me, Apple Pie? I don't know why. It's a billion, kajillion, zillion videos on YouTube, okay? You might not come across me again. Go ahead and subscribe. Set your notifications and we'll stay connected. You can see when I upload new videos. Click in that description. It has my social media information. It has other videos you can get caught up on. Go to that playlist. It's videos of me running my mouth. <sighs> yes, y'all. Go ahead and subscribe. Hi, are you looking for affordable yet fashionable clothing? Look no further. Give us a look at www.bendthetrendbtq.com. You can also check us out on social media via Instagram at bendthetrendbtq and also on Facebook, bendthetrendbtq, where we carry women's clothing, accessories, and shoes. Now back to Jay Evans. Let's talk the talk. Now, before we go any further and discuss anything, let me roll this disclaimer to you and yours. Our topics in this video are alleged and are for entertainment purposes only, okay? So, don't come for me saying, oh, J. Evans, I'm going to sue you. No, it's alleged because the only thing I own outright is this card. That my apple pie, Miss Doreen Lady D, sent to me, y'all. And it smells good, and you can't have it because it's the only thing I own. And I want to give her a slice of apple pie because she also sent me some cookies that were delicious. I am in a car like a greedy, 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 greedy little pig. I ate all the cookies in, in the car. They were so good. So, shout out to you, Lady D. Um, and this car smells good. Baby, okay. Uh, I'm not showing y'all the inside because it's between us. We here, Lady D. So, shout out to her and all of my apple pies that always show me love. Alright, y'all. So, we are back. Now, I keep telling y'all about how shady the Facebook page is for Marrying Millions. And I know some people don't believe me. Like, oh, Jay Evans, you just saying this. Oh, you just, you know, talking crazy. You just... You know, laughing, cutting up. No, the shade is real. So I want y'all to see how real the shade is coming from this page. Let's cut to the Marion Millions Facebook page that I screenshot just for y'all.
I told y'all that page was shady. Y'all didn't believe me. I had to show y'all. See how I'm weaving my stuff together. Y'all know I like to tie in my stuff together. So I told y'all that the shade was real from the Facebook page. Y'all, that page, I love the people on that page. I get a good laugh and a good chuckle. So if you on Facebook, go ahead and um like that page. Because I promise you, whoever runs that page, the comments back are her. Uh, hilarious baby okay they give me my life now let's start off with the couple of the hour um rodney and desiree now y'all be roasting des about her hair and her outfits <laughs> y'all say that uh des is out here looking a bunny hop jack rabbit fool not even the easter bunny not even the delicious Nestle Bunny, y'all say y'all don't like her bangs, y'all say her wigs, y'all can see the lace in the front, and she's trying to have the baby hair like chili, but the scalp part that's supposed to be down on the wig, y'all say y'all can still see that and y'all don't like it, y'all say when she was supposed to be getting her hair done at the beauty shop, that the beautician didn't even touch her wig because she came back and had that tired clip on her head, and it didn't clip anything to Together. Now y'all be reading this, okay? And somebody said it's me. No, it's not me. Um, y'all will read this like a overdue library book. Des, they say they are tired of you wearing these clothes that are looking like you got them from five and below or from Rainbow. Y'all know Rainbow has the cheapest clothes um that you can get. You can't even wash them in a washing machine. You're supposed to hand wash them and then let them air dry. And they might fall apart even then. Des, they say that's where you're getting your clothes from, sis. You're getting your clothes out of rainbow in five and below. And Rodney is, you know, dressed nicely. And then you round here looking like <sighs> you got to hand wash your clothes. Rodney helped Dez out, and she's saying that she's shopping and spending your money, but they say she's taking all the money and saving it, and she's using um $20 to get 2,000 pieces of clothes from Rainbow and Five and Below. Now, if y'all don't believe me, let's take a look at some of uh, Apple Pie Dez's fashion, um, and y'all tell me what y'all think, because they reading and roasting you, Dez. Like I said, like an overdue library book. Um, they're reading you like you're a trilogy of Stephen King books and they roasting you down to the socks, sis. So let's take a look at some of Dez's looks and then y'all will be able to tell me what y'all think and then we're going to come back because I want y'all to see and talk about this. Dez is giving y'all bang, booyah, fun, Peggy Bundy, puffed up, delight. Do y'all like Dez hair? Okay, I don't know. If y'all do, if y'all don't, but those are the looks. And y'all seen some of those looks were, I think, from her, like, um, her portfolio from acting or modeling. Um, y'all saw the one where she was bent down with the... Yeah, some stuff you just got to give to Jesus, okay? Now, Rodney came all the way over Dez's house, um, and she said she was doing laundry. She said she has a lot of clothes. Y'all saw those clothes? Okay. 
it, it's a lie, baby. Okay, now there's people, you know, are roasting your clothes, but whatever. As long as you like it, we love it, sis. Um, you said you're shopping on his dime. Those clothes literally look a dime. Now, then they got into her friend, Sansa Ray, a Blu-ray, this CD change, or whatever her name is. Now, Dad said that, um... Her friend, Sansa Ray, a Blu-ray this uh, Capri Sun, knows that Rodney has cheated. Um, Rodney said that he felt like that was not the right time when they were at the get-together. And, you know, they let everybody know that they were married. And Sansa Ray, a Blue Saray, a Capri Sun, Dad's friend, was making it awkward. And he said, Rodney, that he does not want her to visit they're home when they get married because he doesn't need to feel uncomfortable and awkward. Now, Dez, later on, went to go try on wedding dresses. Dez, they say you don't need to buy a wedding dress because, um, since they say it's not going to be right now. If you looked at the thumbnail before you clicked on the video, you saw her um, trying on a dress. And on a Marion Millions Facebook page, they said something about being Little Red Riding Hood. They, they roasted you. And y'all saw in the clips I just showed. Uh, I, I'm not sure where Des is getting her fashion sense from. Um, but that was the wedding dress she tried on. Now, the lady at the wedding place asked her, did she know the date? Did she know when she was getting married? Dez is like, no, so you just there playing dress up and wasting their time. Now, um, a lot of bridal places charge you like a consultation fee, so I would have charged you because I wouldn't have been playing dress up with you. You acting like you my little pony around here trying on stuff. Talking about Rodney wants her to look like a queen. Dez, they saying with your bangs and your um, hair store outfits, sis, because somebody said you look like you get your clothes up there, so. You not looking like the queen, sis. You looking like um, you need to get it together. Now, um, Sansa Rae, Capri Sun, um, <sighs> Fruit Roll Up, whatever her name is, her friend came and said that she was still mad about Rodney cheating. This is my thing. If it's one of my friends and they with somebody that cheated on them, we can talk about it, but... I can't shade the person you with because ultimately that's your choice and that's what you want to do. Um, Dad said you're in this wedding too. Like she's a part of the wedding. No, if you marry him, she is not in your marriage. It's your marriage if y'all get married. Um, but a lot of people think y'all are faking for TV. Dad, they think you are trying to get your acting career off the ground. They say it's like a deflated tire and it has never risen. And they think that's what you're on TV to do. They think um, for Rodney, it's just free promotion for his wine. Now, I will say that wine is good. Yes, it is. I'm not ever going to knock a brand. Um, so, they think y'all just have like an arrangement. <sighs> Now, Dez told her friend, Sansa Raya, I don't know, um, I have the ring. Okay, sis, um, in regards to him cheating, I have the ring. Dez, do you know how many people have the ring and their spouse is cheating? What difference do that make if you got the ring, but your heart is around here being drugged and molly wopped, sis? <sighs> um, Sansa Raya, Sun Kriya, Capriya, Sun, Sunroof. Whatever your friend name is, girl. Sunru said, I'm going to try to tone it down. What you going to try to tone down? If you was her real friend, you would be helping her get her better wigs where we can't see the lace part coming up. And you would be helping with her when she want to do her booyah, fine, Peggy Bundy, poof. You would be helping her do it like Peggy Bundy do it because Peggy Bundy hair was poofed up right and her bang was right. If you was her real friend, that's what you would help her with. Um, Sunroof or Sansa Raya. You ain't even her real friend. You mad about him cheating. Be mad that your friend is looking like a fool on TV playing these lollipop games. And she looking like her whole wardrobe cost um, $50 for 5,000 pieces. Sunroof? Sansa Raya? That's what you need to be worried about, sis. So, um, 
That's what they saying. Y'all go over there to the Marion Millions Facebook page. Now, the Instagram page is not shady like that. It's not going to give you a good chuckle, a good laugh. But that Facebook page, I don't know who they got in charge of it. Somebody asked me, was I in charge of the page? No, I'm not in charge of that page. But I tell you what, whoever is can uh, read somebody like they are overdue library book because they don't just read Dez and uh, Rodney baby they read them all down to the ground hey YouTube what's up I am Lachelle of Resume Chick a very proud sponsor of the J Evans underscore talk the talk show on YouTube want to know how else you could talk the talk and walk the walk I'm that chick resume chick if you want to level up on your career goals and get a professional resume interview prep sessions and so much more get at me um, my website is www.resumechickllc.org on Facebook I'm resume chick LLC and on Instagram I'm underscore resume chick LLC back to you Jay now let's get into these other people uh Bill and Brianna I'm so sick of y'all. When I'm not sick of y'all, I'm tired of y'all. When I'm not tired of y'all, I'm sick of y'all. Bill says that he wants a woman to make a house a home. He likes to see her doing things that the maid does. Bill is a tad bit older than Brianna. Um, this is not the era of Leave it to Beaver. That's the era that he seems to be stuck in. But ultimately, I don't blame anyone but Brianna because you want him to change the way he is but he's older than you and then this is my thing you didn't gave him all the power when you don't work and you rely on somebody I keep saying it y'all stop giving up your power Brianna go get a job take back your own sense of independence even though you are in a relationship, you still need your own sense of independence. You need to make your own money. You can never rely on, depend on somebody totally. I don't care who it is. I don't care who tell you what. Jay Evans is here to tell you, baby. Ain't nothing like making your own money and calling your own shots. Now, you can do that and still be in a relationship, but when you give it up, you see the results that uh, Brianna got. Now, Brianna, they say you're trying to get to the money. That's why you want to marry him and have a baby, sis, because they saying that you only want the money and you want him to take care of your family. Bill is saying that he does not want to get married. So does he not trust you? Is that it? Now, we know uh, Bill's mom, I forgot her name, but... I enjoyed her because she came in and shut it down. Like DMH used to say, shut it down, open up shop. His mom came on in and told it like it was. And I really like that. Now, Bill was still joking and he did not take you serious. So, uh, Brianna, I would suggest um, Apple Pie that you get your own, sis, because ain't nothing like your own. But you probably not going to listen. You think he's going to give you a baby and you just going to take him to the bank. Because that's what they saying you really want to do. Now, let's go into Rick and Erica. Erica was talking to her grandmother. Now, I like her grandmother. Um, she's been on a couple of episodes. Um, she does want to marry Rick. Now, they were saying, you know, talking about that boat. And I did write something shady that um, Rick needs to buy you a house, a condo, a townhouse, something. Somebody replied to me and said that you... Bought a condo or got an apartment or something. So I think that is a good move. Maybe you got tired of being seasick, but if you keep staying on that boat, you're going to end up like the cast of Gilligan's Island, sis, and nobody's going to be able to find you. It's going to be more than a tour, two-hour tour like on Gilligan's Island. You're going to be marooned and shipwrecked somewhere, and nobody's going to be able to find you. So I'm glad if this is true that you got you someplace that you can put your feet on solid ground, okay? Um, mm -mm -mm. But I think... Her dad is concerned about her too, but you know, sis, um, you still want to marry him. Now, do I think they can make it? Um, I will say I'm more confident in Rick than in Bill. I'm not for sure if y'all can make it, but um, I'm more confident in Rick. 
Rick seems a little bit more sensible, but he still ain't got no business being with you because you old enough to be his great 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 granddaughter. Now let's go into these two. Danny and Donovan. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is another one. You need your own sense of independent Dan uh Danny, because I'm tired of Donovan acting like he runs you. Now, y'all moved to a new house in Frisco, okay? Frisco is right next to Dallas. A lot of people say they live in Dallas, but it's the surrounding DFW area, okay? So, they're here in Dallas, where Jay Evans is at, but they're in Frisco. Now, um, her dad, I don't think is crazy about the idea of her moving in with him, and I'm going to agree with your father. Now, Donovan asked for your hand in marriage, but Donovan is still kind of disrespectful he wants you to sign a prenup um i'm not sure when i see you i don't see so far you just with him for the money now you work for him but he doesn't pay you enough what you need to do is go work for somebody else okay business and pleasure don't mix it's a recipe for disaster okay but i agree with your father you giving away the rice you the rice so, if he could get the whole Rice Krispie treat for free, why would he pay for the rice? Stop laying up and sleeping with him and giving away your goodies. That's what you need to do. Um, now, you acted like you had a problem with him bringing up the prenup. You had your friends over, Danny, to talk about it. Now, your friends, let's see, uh, Roxy, I think that's the name, and Tanaya, Tanika something, uh, said you leveled up. Baby, that's a regular house in Frisco. That's the problem. Y'all around here acting like, oh, she leveled up. Let me tell y'all something. Frisco is a pretty nice area. Um, you know, they have like a lot of new bills going on and people are buying houses out there because it's a little bit further out away from staying directly in Dallas and paying high taxes if you're buying a house. Um, but that house ain't all that. Y'all around here talking about, ooh, you leveled up and all. Do it for yourself. Stop. <sighs> now... Danny met with a lawyer, wanting to know and discuss her options. Danny, Jay Evans says your option is to go work for somebody else and make your own money. Um, because he is not um, caring about you not wanting to sign a prenup. And you're saying, well, I worked for him and I helped him. Um, he doesn't care. Y'all not married now. If y'all break up, he's not going to have to give you anything. If y'all get... Um, <laughs> married and you sign that prenup and y'all get a divorce he's not going to have to give you anything so apple pie be smart move out get your own place make him take you serious because he's not because you giving him the whole rice crispy treat mm -hmm. bless your heart okay now let's go over into it's another one katie and kevin i like katie I really like Katie. I think she is a sweet girl, but I want you to get far away from Kevin. Now, he met with his mangy friends, like mangy dogs. Um, he was telling them all his business and then laughing and joking and listening to their advice about you, Katie. What do you think when you watch this show and see him and he's your man and he's saying all this stuff? Now, um, one of the friends had a lot to say about you, Katie. Now, they were betting money and playing, you know, golf, but when y'all were out to eat that time, he made you pay for that meal, but he's up here betting thousands of dollars? Okay. Now, the friend said that Katie met Kevin after um, he was super successful. He doesn't know how he feels about that. Well, you the friend, it don't matter how you feel about that. See, there it goes again. The friend's getting in their business. You got uh, Kevin out here listening to them talking about put you on a time constraint and tell her she got to go and a friend talking about he's not sure how he feel about you well mangy dog we not sure how we feel about you so you keep your mouth off katie somebody show katie this video katie i'm gonna say this for the last time kevin is not into you katie he does not want you i know you might love him but uh i don't think he's any good baby i i'm, I'm gonna say this to you too you done gave him the Rice Krispie Treat. He ain't going to want to buy the rice. Stop chasing him around like TLC chasing waterfalls.
Stop trying to be with him and stop trying to make it work. You make him chase you. You make him come to you. Cut him off and you'll see if, if a man really wants you when you stop talking to him and dealing with him. If he comes after you, you'll see if he really wants you. And if he doesn't come after you, move on. You are a smart young lady. Ain't nothing like having your own. Get your own, Katie. And don't be laid up with him. I, you and uh Danny, I'm gonna have to be y'all life coach, cause I done got discombobulated, y'all, and that's not a good thing. I, I'm gonna be y'all life coach, okay? I had to come myself down, y'all. They had got me a little discombobulated, okay? So that was my review and recap for this week's episode of Marion Millions Apple Pies. So with that being said, it's only one left thing for me to close out with. We've talked the talk, now it's time to walk the walk.